CBS Radio News. Steve Dorsey has been following this from Washington. He joins me by phone. Steve, just your immediate reaction to what you heard from the vice president-elect and Speaker Ryan. Well, my takeaway is that Republicans are trying to focus on what they're calling an orderly transition into whatever new health plan alternative they're going to propose. But as you mentioned, uh, there is no publicly released plan just yet. There are some ideas that we've heard in the past that uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan uh, mentioned in his uh, press conference just uh, minutes ago that just ended. Uh, but so far, this is going to be what uh, Democrats especially are going to be attacking uh, not only House and Senate Republicans on, but also the incoming Trump administration as they work on day one to repeal it without an alternative. Yeah, you know, I was speaking with Molly Hooper earlier uh, from the Hill, and she made note of the fact that it's interesting that uh, President-elect Donald Trump would be using executive orders after being so critical of the Obama administration and those executive orders. Yeah, and he could be uh, under fire for using those same tactics, of course, that uh, he blasted the president for doing, for doing this unilaterally. That uh, is a strategy uh, Republicans also have joined uh, Donald Trump in criticizing the president for. You know, it, it, they obviously, have, this has been a debate for years. Since, since the Affordable Care Act was enacted, Republicans were against it. They have tried to overturn it on numerous occasions. And as you said, we don't have a plan or any specifics. But are there any ideas out there that we may see a return to that we've heard from Republicans before? We've been hearing a lot of talk in Congress about Republicans offering some kind of voucher system program that would allow folks to buy health care coverage at discounted rates, make those premiums more affordable, and especially, especially in states where those premiums have gone up, and allow folks to buy coverage outside of their state. Because remember, we exist in a system right now where these health insurance marketplaces are run on a state level, or in some cases by the federal government. Yeah, you know, I, I know that Vice President-elect, I believe, was the one that said he encouraged people to look back at a speech that President-elect Trump made in Philadelphia towards the end of the election. I don't know if you can recall that at all, but obviously made reference to some of the things he spoke about there, uh, like the idea of a health savings account as well. Yeah, they really want to give uh, folks what they're calling more control over the price and the availability and the options uh, of where they can purchase health care coverage. All right. Well, Steve Dorsey, uh, I, I guess we have a lot, a lot of questions still remaining out there despite hearing from the Republican leadership today the idea that they will repeal and then find something else to put in its place. We appreciate the time, Steve. Thank you. Thanks, Gina.